What's going on guys, Dom from the Game Looters here to talk about Persona 5 and Persona 5 Scramble. Recently, Atlas just released some brand new news on the Atlas Japan YouTube channel and they launched a brand new trailer that you guys are seeing right now. In this trailer, we learned a ton more about this game than we ever could have asked for, including the release date, which is now going to be February 20th, 2020. Now, no North American release date has been revealed yet, but if it's anything like the soon-to-come Persona 5 Royal, we'll probably get it around four to six months later, so I would assume sometime mid to late 2020. Now, Persona 5S or Persona 5 Scrambled, I honestly think I was completely wrong, guys. I did a video prior, I'll link right now up above, that you guys can see that when the original trailer came out for Persona 5S and Persona 5 Scramble, I was just completely destroyed and just completely disappointed at another offshoot Persona style game. Now, I am not a big Musu fan style game person. I don't like Hyrule Warriors, Fire Emblem Warriors, the Warriors games, just in total, I have never liked them. They've never been something that I've really been attuned to or really liked. So when they announced Persona 5S, I was like, oh no, no they didn't do this to my favorite franchise and my most recent favorite game of all time, Persona 5. I am here to admit, guys, I was wrong. Dom from the Game Looters was wrong. And real quick, you know I got a plug, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you like the video. So when that came out, I was just completely destroyed. Now if you guys remember the end of Persona 5, I'm going to put a little spoiler warning right now here. It's a tiny one, but I still want to let you guys know if you haven't finished the game. Okay, spoiler warning starting now. Okay, at the end of Persona 5, after you complete everything, the crew mentions that they have something to do now this game takes place right after the end of persona 5 this does not creep into royal as we don't see any of the uh, new characters in the trailer here although they may come later on with that being said with this coming at the end of persona 5 this could be the exact thing that they were talking about what's cool is what we really learned about the game now is the fact that you are going to be able to completely explore. This is going to be a heavy story game. The first off that I want to talk about is the exploration. I cannot wait to explore that world again, especially on the Nintendo Switch, because that's exactly where I want to play it. This game can be a perfect partnership to my countless and countless playthroughs that's going to happen in Persona 5 Royal. I'm excited to see on what they're adding to this world and what exploration is really going to look like in the game. Are we going to be able to hit batting cages or go fishing or get waifus? I really want to see what the Atlas team has in store for us here and Koei Tecmo as well. So that's my first thing here is what's going to happen with this game as far as exploration. Secondarily, the battle system, they made it look just like the Persona 5 battle system that we all know and love. So unlike other Musu games that is just completely derived from the actual main, main game, this one here actually looks like they're going to bring the main game stuff into this Musu style game, give us real battle system, story arcs, things of that nature, and I'm really interested in this game now. I am really interested in what they're doing here. It seems like the people that are making this are super passionate about the IP. Now this is not being made by Atlas themselves, they're just publishing it, but I know that they're overseeing it still, so I'm very excited to see that. And they also touched on the story, that's the last piece I want to talk about. The story looks bonkers, it looks like it's going to be a completely offshoot story of itself, which we typically haven't gotten in, in those offshoot Persona games, like the fighting games we've gotten in the past. Typically it's like a, a, a tiny little bit story, but this one seems gonna have to be really heavy in those story elements. Guys, if you can't hear it in my voice already, I am just overly excited for Persona 5 Scramble now. With seeing this trailer, this is what, the, this is what they should have showed us to begin with, not that battle before, because what I'm gonna go in here for is not the Musu style battles. I'm gonna go in for the story and exploration and everything else that it seems like we're gonna be able to do. Guys, tell me down in the comments down below, are you excited for Persona 5 Scramble? And did you know that I probably messed up and I said, hey, I'm not excited? Well, I take it back. I'm excited now. I cannot wait for this to come out. Give me more Persona. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments down below. And make sure you subscribe and like the video on your way out. And I'll catch you on the next one.